What up, y'all? It's your boy R to A to Ash, Yiggity Yes, Riggity Rise here with Pacifica Cost and Blood. And today we're here to do a review of the debut album on Humble Beast Records. The man himself, Mr. Salute Guy. That's right, Eshawn Burgundy. I'm gonna talk about his new album, Fear of G O D. Fear of Yahweh. Fear of God. Alright? Fear of the Lord. Alright. So we're going to talk about this album, stuff I like, stuff I did not like, etc, etc, etc. Let me first start off with saying, thank you, Jesus. The mixing on this album is good. Compared to his past albums, if this was the movies, this would be like IMAX, brother. And the other projects would be like the uh, the Dallas show, alright? This is like IMAX. I can hear distinctions and in instruments, don't sound low. Thank you, Lord. All right, for that. To give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this place right now. Amen? Amen. All right. First song, Fair God. Produced by Street Orchestra and W.I.T. Brother Wit. You got bass and keys by John McNeil. I think that's how you pronounce brother name. Now, this is a perfect intro track to me. You got the live instruments. I'm assuming somebody playing the drums as well. They're live as well. I like the whole anticipation that you have, you know, waiting while he's rapping, you wait for the drums to kick in, and once it kicks in, you know what I'm saying, that's dope, it's dope how they, you know, said they did the whole anticipation thing, uh, love his intensity on this track, he even doing it, he saw, he saw he really into it, and I think that music is really bringing, you know, the the whole instrumentation really bringing out his aggressive side on, on this song, even doing ah, you know what I'm saying, he did ah, alright, it's like he hooping us up, he, he just really inside, ah, alright, brother, hooping on here as well, uh, lyrically, you know what I'm saying, I like, you know, most of all what I like about each time, I'm not into the whole rise, because I know that's what y'all guys are into, but I like, you know, like the more slicker lines, you know what I'm saying, like he did a whole side on, bottom of the spear, you know what I'm saying, saying it without saying it, that's all I always liked about Brother E. Shine. Next song, Healthy, produced by Beautiful Eulogy, and his brother named Jacob, alright, J-E apostrophe K-O-B, alright, you know I don't like saying no K-O-B words, alright, sound too close to that, you know who guy, but anyway, overall I like this song, but I don't like the synth or whatever sound that is on here. If it was just the bassy sound, it would be cool. But I don't know. I don't like the instrument that uh, whatever that is that screeching sound, man. Um, Jacob, he's straight on the hook. He's not the worst on here. He's not the best. I mean, he's somewhere in the middle. Um, but you know he's talking about fear you know what's healthy fear what's ungodly fear etc cetera, etc cetera. all right uh next song blood money blood money now i like this song right here produced by d still this is more what i expected man you know he's saying he's singing on the hook you know like on um the j what's her name sister jackie you know saying the nova k song similar type of saying i like when he does that uh, like the word play with the whole blood money, you know what I'm saying, the double meaning. And I like the li the live drum feels. This is a dope track. Next song, Higher Learning, produced by D Steel. This is a good single. I'm going to explain. I got problems with it, but overall this is a good single. Now at the beginning, it kind of scared me. Because it, it kind of reminded me of a faster version of them Ray, what's their name? Ray Samurd or whatever. No tight dudes, y'all know that. Those of you uh, who are around uh, quote unquote secular mainstream around, y'all know that. I ain't got no tight. My head bad is the only thing that I like. You ain't got no blah, blah, blah. Them dudes, yeah. The no type dudes. It kind of reminded me of the beginning, so I was kind of scared. But then when the beat kicked in, I was like, okay, it's, this ain't that. Um, now, you know, Nah Eshan fans, this is a good track to introduce himself to Nah Eshan fans. More the southern vibe. Um, you got you know the you know the double time type of rap on here. Switch it up his cadence, and then you got the whole clapper thing. You can you can see that 
in concerts. Like he can do, just get on the mic and then just have the people clapping and stuff. This, this, these are the type of things you can get people involved with. So this, that's perfect for the concerts. Now, Uncle Reese, all right? I guess this is Uncle something, all right? Uncle Reese, on here sound like he's screaming. I, I don't like singers who scream. I like singers who sing. So, uh, and it just, I can't get into it. He just kind of off key and stuff, man. Now, his down the ad libs, I'm assuming that's him as well. The ad libs are okay. That should have been a hook. But him singing, I mean, just not for me. Uh, that song by Nephew Eshan. Uh, control Issues, produced by Beautiful Eulogy and D. Steele. Stretches by, oh Lord, DJ. I'm not going to try. All right. This sounds like a Beautiful Eulogy type of beat on here, but it sounds like something that was made for prop. So, in, in some sense, I'm going to got to bring some points down for me because, you know, when I, when I hear... Beautiful Yuzi, it normally, you know, everybody has their own style, right? Like, prop album don't sound like Jackie Hill, Jack Hill don't sound like For Known, you know what I'm saying? For Known don't sound like Beautiful Yuzi, et cetera, et cetera. But this one just sounds too, too propagandish to me. So, you gotta take some points down. I still like the song, but you gotta take points down for that for, for me. Because um, it's not as distinct. Uh, it's not as original um and they need to work on crafting the eshine sound beautiful eulogy just now i think d still you know what i'm saying does a great job in that but beautiful eulogy on here they need some help in that area i'm sorry that's my opinion uh now the singer on here he to me doesn't fit the song like this is a hardcore type beat again i like the beat it's just it's kind of propaganda it's, but the singer on here, man, he it it doesn't fit. Like he's not hardcore like that. And the singing just ah, just, it doesn't work for me. So I like the rap and I like the beat, but the hook. Yeah. That song, Respect Power of Money, Respect Power of Money. I like this song right here. It was about D Steel. This kind of reminds me of some some mob D type of stuff. Not the early, you know what I'm saying, boom bap mob D, but more of that. Later on in '90s, 2000 mile deep, um, has a street vibe to it. Catchy hook by Eshan. I like when he does his own hooks. I like John Gibbs on here, except for the Carl, Carl, Carl Winslow family matters. Been done a billion times. I don't want to hear no more Winslow lines, please. Overuse. Uh, next, the fear of the Lord, Shalane. I have nothing to say about that man. Either. Brother on here, preaching about the fear of the Lord. Who am I to say something about that? You know what I'm saying? That's that's a setup. I can't judge nothing like that. So, next, Come Alive, produced by Wit, Swoop, and Braille Brizze. All right, guitar by A.G. Steele. All right. Intro kind of weird, but once the beat kicks in, this is a dope song. This is probably one of my favorite of the quote unquote experimental tracks for uh, Eshine. Uh, I'm a JR stand, so you know how I feel about the hook. Just a melodic track. Kind of reminds me of what Wit did with Timothy Brindle's last album. Uh, that type of vibe to it. And Jay Givers, man. Um, sometimes do it a little bit too animated for me. Sometimes I want to take it. Jay Givers, you know, calm down, brother. Calm down. Kind of excited. But on this one, he, you know, he's still a little, little excited. You know what I'm saying? A weird little rap vibe, which is cool. I don't have... A problem with his style per se but it's not as animated so I like that about it um, next song certified gold produced by wit swoop also braille brizze alright I like the choir style on here the live drums feel is dope uh, the piano on here probably swoop did I'm a guess you know he, he's like the piano guy and it's a nice hook man uh, to me, I think he should do a video for this. It might sound weird, but I could see if if done right, I could see this type of video reaching the world. I think he, I think he could, but he, you know, so you gotta have the right concept and stuff like that, the right look. But I think he could. Uh, next song, Sandcastle, produced by D. Steele. 
Sashi Johnson, you know what I'm saying? He sings on here, he sings dope. It's a catchy hook. Some of the the vibe to it definitely has like a some Detroit vibe. My city. You know, I gotta throw Detroit up in here. Definitely like the Detroit influence on this beat. It's a just a dope song. Next song, good grief. Produced by Beautiful Eulogy. Uh this is a slow, beautiful eulogy type of beat. All right, this is a slow beat. I think the instrumentation is dope, but it, it kind of, again, what I talked about before, it sort of has that beautiful eulogy first album vibe to it. It's not a unique beat for uh, Isha to me, but, I mean, the instrumentation is dope, the guitar, the drums. I uh, like this Liz Vice. I'm um, definitely going to try to check out some of other stuff. I know she has some other stuff out, so you got to send, send me no links. She's dope. Um, but yeah, it's a dope song. It's just not as unique for me. That song, Retro Sunday. I'm producing, I'm doing this on a Sunday. That, that's deep. Retro Sunday, and I'm doing the video on the Sunday. Produced by D Steel and Beautiful Eula J. All right, and you got featuring your man BBB. I know you said, who is BBB? It's your man, Boom Bat Bray, all right? That's my new nickname. When he does the Boom Bat Trail, I'm going to call him BBB. Brother Boom Bat Bray on doing a rap on him. Now, I grew up, so some of y'all laid up, went up on Bray, you know what I'm saying, back in the day. I've been in with Bray since 1999. I'm old, so definitely good to hear Boom Bat Bray once again. No diss to beautiful eulogy Bray. But I prefer Boom Bat Braille. And I got that on the Grace and Peace record. And we got it on here. Definitely like BBB's. Uh, wordplay and all that. Um, definitely like you know, the whole thing of the Lord returning to the earth. Alright. Alright. Now. Some folks might have a problem with Eshan's. You know. Still kill and destroy line. Because you know, some people feel that. John 10 is not talking about the devil, all right? Now, he doesn't quote John 10, but, you know, people usually, you know, infer that that passage is talking about Satan stealing, killing, and destroying, but we know that that passage is about false prophets. I'm not a person to make a big deal about it, but there are some people who might. Uh, but, yeah, it's dope. This is a dope song. Love the boom by feel on here. And then last song, Close, A Close Distance. D still now this sounds like a beautiful eulogy track or maybe something even JR might do. Um but it's not. This is actually D still. Um uh, this has sort of like an alternative rock vibe to it, which is cool. Um same with the drums, you know, at the beginning and stuff like that. I like Lee Lee Green on here. I think it's dope. This is a dope song. Um, bottom line, you know, cadence, content, you know, it's consistent. You know, I have nothing to say about that. He's a professional on the mic. Um, when he does the hooks, it's good. When he doesn't do the hooks, it's hit or miss. Uh, so he definitely got to work on that. Uh, getting some people going to do some good hooks. There were some, but some of them were not. Uh, guest prayers is cool. like the live instrumentation. Uh, but, you know, the question really is, is this new style better for him than his old style? And right now, I'm kind of undecided. Sometimes I feel, yes, it's cool. Sometimes I'm like, no, nah, the boom bap is better. Like with Jackie Hill, definitely what, what uh, Beautiful usually did with Jackie Hill, Home of Beast, that was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Got out of the Southern vibe, put it on some East Coast, fit it perfectly. Is this, you know, this live instrumentation, sort of rock and fluid vibe, is that what is best for Ishan and right now um, I don't know I think I'm going to have to hear his second album to really truly know so that's my thoughts love to hear yours but see what Carson Blog Kobe sets and I'm out triples